footsteps clank from the tower elevator as if a guard were goose-stepping inside, but what emerges from the darkness is no soldier walking on all fours. It rises to stand on its back legs like a human. Could this be the invention Zoltan was referring to? It looks like a scary motherfucker. Look at his eyes, they're even sort of like going up and then going down, going up and then going down. In power this is. Stand back or I will be forced to use force, forcibly. Would you take a look at the size of that thing? I never thought I'd see that day when I'd be smaller than someone. <laughs> what accent am I trying to do with him? I've switched all over the place. Let's hope this isn't the monster that was prowling around town. Looking at, around at the other alchemist, it then seems to notice me and stops for a moment. Suddenly it bounds straight for me, knocking me to the ground with a single heavy pounce. Diggle, you must leave post haste, it's gonna eat me for supper! I need some sort of trap run for the hills! Oh? I... I think the game just had a bug there. <laughs> We'll just forget that happened. The clockwork beast growls and snorts, his head tilting to one side as it acutely observes me. From up close, he seems incredibly complex. Incredibly fucking scary. It looks now like a tiger or a lion or a leopard or something. I think it's supposed to be a tiger, hence the sort of bones coming out of its cheeks. Saber tooth. Hmm. The, uh, the amount of technical prowess required to build such a thing must be astronomical. The gouges on his body wobble as a puff of steam hisses from the pipes behind him. Suddenly he begins to speak in a deep, curious voice that echoes through the tower, startling the alchemists into wide-eyed, slack-jawed awe. Who are you? You've run at me like this and you don't know who I am? I am offended. He's probably just taken offense to like my scars or something. It lowers its head to my level, looking closely at my face. Reaching out a large metal claw, it gently paws at me, causing me to instinctively draw back in fear. Faye needs to play with someone to play with. Have you come to play? What, what, what is the meaning of this and what, why can you talk? I... do you not want me to play with you? Answer me! Who created you? Who is your master? That's right, go back. Oh, God. He looks even more fearsome than before. Faye slowly gets up, shifting his bulk back onto two legs. His bright blue eyes shine in the darkness, observing us intently. There seems to be a strange sort of life imbued in him, despite the fact that his exterior is made of metal. His movements are far more fluid and unpredictable than the average work clock, almost like those of a real animal. Magistus is my master. So it really is true. Master says Faye is a good kitty. Faye was very patient when Master puts his soul inside of him. De what? <laughs> See, this would be the time where even though I'm evil and bad, I think I'd pull a Dr. Evil on everyone and just be like, right, I'm running now. Like, wait, hold on a moment. Did you say soul? Explain to me what exactly you are talking about. Faye is a very special clockwork. Master says Faye's soul comes from real kitty. But Faye got smarter because Master taught him. Faye is so smart now. Smart might be pushing it a little. Yeah. What's the sense they do with computers and they say, well... We have to start warring when we confuse them. Was it two or three out of five times for a five-year-old? I suppose they could then turn into this, then that would be horrific. So you're an artificial being with a soul. Where would the soul go? I thought... Homunculi... Homunculi... That's definitely not how you pronounce it. Were the stuff of legend. Fake, could you tell me how you created in greater detail? Faye doesn't know. Only Master knows. Faye wishes he could tell you. Faye is sorry. Speaking of which, where is Magistus anyway? Faye growls forlornly for a moment and clearly needs to breathe. I don't know what that little spout was. Looking towards the tower elevator before turning towards us again. Master has been sick for a long time. He told Faye to talk to you instead. He may not have any. He not have energy to talk now. I'm stumbling. I want to read this properly, but 
it's difficult. How terrible! You must be devastated! Faye tries to act unconcerned, but I can hear his voice wavering. But Master says F Faye is a good kitty, so F Faye can talk to you instead. Oh, oh my. She turns away, most likely not wanting anyone to see her teary-eyed. I can't help but go all watery myself. I'm not watery! I'm not watery? I'm evil! I am the Lord of Darkness! I get teary-eyed. <clears throat> Enough of this, just get on with it, will you? Give the poor thing a chance, it's doing the best it can. Please don't be sad. Faye wants to do a good job, so Master will be happy. Faye hopes he can do a good job. You're doing a good job, Faye. Just tell us what your Master wants us to do. Master taught Faye to ask you if you were alchemists. They are skilled at something, but alchemists might be too kind of a word for those heavy-handed plebeians. Look, we're clearly up a couple floors. Is it too late to go hit my blood money in his ass and just push him over the railings? Slowly walk away and no one will ever notice. Probably. Hey! Oh! What the hell happened there? It just skipped. It's a bit buggy, this game. My fingers were nowhere near space. That's two. Oh, I suppose two in an hour is not bad. It did it again. That's not me doing that. <laughs> we're gonna just have to read it what it says very, very quickly. Okay, so. Heavy handed plebeians. Hey, watch your mouth or I'll blade you up. Well, excuse me. Something I'm gonna have to read what that excuse me says Do I not live up to something? Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Faye's ears are hurting so please don't fight. Faye has a better idea. Maybe you could do a test A test? Did your master put you up to this? Master told me not to tell you that he did So I guess he wants to know if we are really alchemists Okay, so we're gonna have one of one of those alchemist puzzles. Uh, it'll probably be up for me not to cock it up. I do want him to recognize me as an alchemist. Pah! That should be easier than a walk in the park. Master wants you to zap the power cable there and make the meter go all the way up. Ah, the wind element. Eh? It's even my speciality. I hope he doesn't do it. He probably will. But I, I hope he's not. Faye thinks maybe he should have made the test harder. Well, here goes nothing. I remove my alchemy kit and grab one end of the eye. If, eye wire. If all goes well, this formula should generate a short burst of lightning, enough to raise the power for a short while at least. 20 pieces, 2 changes. Yeah, I can do this. See, I wonder if you can genuinely fail at this. It would be interesting. Like, just, you know, the whole puzzle and shit. I, I really want to be able to. I think I've balls this up already and I think I know where I've gone wrong. Uh, yeah, I think I've caught this. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta start from here. I think I gotta start from here. Does that make any sense? Did I need to put the red one there? Yes. <laughs> I just realised you can only put like different coloured ones next to that. So, blop, 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 blop. Okay, so we've got that much shit. All right, come on, let's do this again. Uh, no, oh, no, bollocks! Oh, this is actually gonna take forever. Thing is, remembering like this many combinations is really awkward. All right, so blue. So we got both the blues out of the way. We don't actually need to put that anywhere specific. Green. Come on, give me some, give me some greens, you bastard. Okay, so I assume the next ones are all gonna be green. Oh, bam! I didn't even need to pause it because I was doing so badly. I saw what was going on. I saw it. Mmm. Mmm. Did someone say I'm the best in the world at this game? Because if you did, not many people are playing it, so you should buy it. It's a good game and get better than me. So that's fine, right? 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 I plug games I like. Okay, basically. That's why I don't plug Sakura Spirit or Fading Arms. They're both awful. Never buy them. This, though, and Cinders, buy it. It's good. So my chaos is oh, six. So it can go out of 100. I wonder how long this game is. If it's only six, it's probably a while longer. All right. Sit back and watch the lightning! A spark of lightning shoots from my hand and into the cable. It causes the gorge to attach to... D does anyone say gouge for that word? Because if you do, you're weird. The gorge attached to the contraption by the wall to skyrocket to maximum levels. Nicely done! Was there ever any doubt? Oh yeah, that's the kind of evil mastermind I'm looking for. No, oh, Master is dying, cry, cry, cry. No, balls to that. Was there any, ever any doubt? 
We need to be cocky. Hey, look over here. I managed to do it too. <clears throat> so did we, you bloody idiot. I believe this should be sufficient enough proof. Faye is so happy that everyone passed. Oh. Faye, can I ask you some questions about what you want? Quite frankly, I believe I, I should be the one. Faye was built by an Imperial. It is up to me to fail it around the arguing group for centering on me. Maybe Dougal can talk to me now. Eh, you knew my name? Of course he does. It's a story. Don't be so surprised. <clears throat> Faye jumps a bit, seemingly surprised. Faye is sorry. Faye likes to listen to uh, people sometimes. Sure, if no one has any objections. Oh, trust me, I do. But go on. I don't want to waste any more time. Ask about his... Okay, ask about his thoughts on humans. It's always good to ask the question which isn't necessary. You never know. Faye, you're an artificial creature, right? What do you think about humans? <clears throat> Faye thinks that is a strange question to ask. Faye is not sure. Well, your master's a human. You must like them. Come on, you have to have some opinion on them. Faye thinks humans are mean, so Faye not trust them. Uh, do I factor into that as well? Maybe, but Dougal not look like mean man. He looks like nice man. Very nice. I want to make him sound like Mongo from Blazing Saddles, you know? <laughs> Mongo. Uh, well, I like you too, Faye. See, now he likes us more. We are brilliant. Though Faye shows no outward emotion, he stares at me with a curious intensity, growling gently. Faye? Oh, Faye is fine. Do go ask Faye something else? That's worrying. Uh, ask about his problem. Shit, I should have asked about Master first. Master said that there was a big bad monster who wanted to hurt us. Faye doesn't want to get hurt. The monster again. This can't be the reason we're here, can it? Master says you should find the monster and then make it go away. Master says you should do it before the moon glow, too. Or something really bad will happen. <laughs> oh, goody. That's only four days from now. Fa I don't understand. Why can't you fight the monster yourself? Master said only alchemists can hurt it. But Faye is not an alchemist. N yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious. It's an alchemist creation. <laughs> Why, pray tell, does using alchemy make even make any difference in that matter? Master said it was really strong and had lots of energy in it. Master told Faye to find the monster, but Faye wasn't good. So good at finding it. So he thought you might help. So you've already tried. But the only thing you've tried with is an artificial sort of like creation thingy. Okay then. What kind of creature are we talking about here? It first came here a month ago, then people in town got really hurt. Master is afraid that maybe someone will go away forever. Faye hopes Master won't go away. Faye loves Master very much. Drat. I can't make, take much more of this. Well, when does this monster normally show up? When the sky gets dark and the shiny thing in the sky turns up. Yeah, you know when you said you're smart? I'm going to have to retract that. I mean, probably Joey Essex and Kim Kardashian know what a moon is. If they know what a moon is, it's not rocket science. That's called a moon. It's not like some kind of machine like you. It lights up because the sun shines on it. Uh, Faye gets confused sometimes. Faye not sure what machine and not machine is. Faye is machine, but Faye is not machine. Gears grinding in head. Faye will stop now. Faye seems very confused. There's something philosophical in there somewhere, but I can't quite tease it out. It seems our monster is nocturnal. Of course it is. It's not going to show up in the middle of the day. It's too light. We'd be able to kill it easily. It seems our monster is nocturnal. Be careful, everyone. It could be lurking anywhere. Nothing I can't handle, of course. But as far as everyone else is concerned... Well, I'm a trained huntsman. This should be a sitch for someone like me. I kind of have a feeling this will not end well. Amen to that. And ask about his master. Fate, is this the same Magistus that left the Academy? Everyone in the Academy thought the Masked Master was a very nice man. They were also happy when he showed them their machines. His machines, even. So, this is what he tells you, though. So this might not be true, Faye. I hate to break it to you. How did you end up here? Faye was built in the Academy and went with him in a flying ship. He said that he would leave all the bad people and come take care of Faye. Right. So we don't know where he is at the moment? I can't believe this. Why would you let him talk to him? Me, us talk to him even. I have so many questions I'd like to ask. No, Faye won't let you go near Master. No, never mind. Can we move on? 
Humans, why such a lack of decency? Ask about the challenge. Hopefully, it... We're just all gonna die. We're gonna have to accept this now. 